Hello, this is going to be a message for, oh, we already did you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I don't know if you can see it. We will uh, get some real ass cards for you. This is gonna be for August. General overall message for everyone. We will touch for, um, touch light or shed light for your overall energy for the month, love, work, money, finances. Also your health and a spiritual message as well. So these are just real ash cards I'm gonna do. I will pull some tarot, but these are just kind of little messages that you may need. So take what resonates, leave what does not fit for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So you have someone maybe holding a grudge not trying to forgive right now hopefully they're not trying to take vengeance this month but you have that you have also dressed to impress which you shouldn't find hard to do since most of you guys are um i feel like capricorns dress really well fashionistas anistos confidence is key so there's definitely a need for you to be assured in yourself and to not let anything that causes insecurities to come through. Police are involved. I don't know what that's about, but uh, a situation where um, it doesn't mean that you'll be arrested or anything, so don't always assume the worst. I've had that card come out and it just simply means you may go through a roadblock or the police are called, but they're not called on you. Um, you could just have them investigating something in your favor. Uh, there's a lot of ways that they could be involved for everybody. It would be different, but there is something in August where the police are involved. Some of you may even be police officers yourself. It could be a wreck. It could be several things where they could be involved, but it's saying that, you know, you need to dress to impress and not worry about anything and be assured in whatever it is that you want to see happen for you. So we're going to touch on, again, overall energy, love, money, work, health, and a spiritual message. I'm about to go ahead and cut the deck and see what's going on for you. All right, Capricorn. Oh, I was going to say, why is that going on? It's a crystal there. <laughs> so overall, you have the King of Cups. I feel like you are seeing that you can use your discernment, trust your intuition, and know that you are emotionally developed, emotionally mature, and you're emotionally stable. You won't have to deal with your emotions being all over the place. Bottom of the deck, you have the star. So there's something about you healing. The worst is over. The best is still yet to come and is being grounded down to you as long as you stay present on staying hopeful and optimistic. So for love, we have the five of cups. There may be something sad or disappointing that you may be getting over some kind of loss that has occurred in a love life where you're, you know, coming out of a sunken place to really kind of let go of the past or, you know, something about the the disconnection with someone or the things that were incompatible with you letting it go whether you're with this person or not is some kind of sad situation that someone's healing from with your money you have the fool so there's some kind of new beginning some kind of leap of faith where you're getting away from any kind of foolishness where you've kind of held yourself back or been held back by some things whether it was you or something external you're uh taking a leap of faith here you're going on a new journey it's a new chapter that can unfold as long as you stay calm and let your spirit kind of you know be free to do or go towards what would be something that you would want to learn more and grow from for your money, you have the three of wands. I feel like you're definitely prepping for your next move to be like a chess move and to go for, you know, the direction where you may get to ride a new wave. Uh oh, 
you may get to ride a new wave and it, it might be a bumpy you know start here with whatever work but i feel like some of you may impulsively get ready to start planning and prepping for some kind of um situation where you'll be able to have more fun with work for your health you have the ten of wands so anything that's old baggage old regimens that were overwhelming you making you tired you felt overburdened by it uh you're coming down from whatever that is and you're about to be able to start basically moving towards healing because or being healed because i feel like this has been a healing journey in itself and it's been very um tiring for you with whatever it is you've been doing maybe you've been doing a lot of moving around a lot of back and forth a lot of things that you need to kind of like let go of here in order for you to be your healthiest and best self i feel like there's something about a move that has definitely took its toll on you and you will um kind of maybe some of you may have something to do with like work or something that uh, is not working that you will basically have a new shot at trying to figure out how to let this uh challenging whatever this was with your health go so that you are able to kind of like have the energy to really heal and get creative with how it is you want to live life i feel like you'll definitely be making some changes to relieve yourself and for spirit you have the ten of swords so they're saying that something that's been painful is coming to an end for you and it's best to like look to you know clearer skies clearer you know perspectives where the past is in the past and you don't need to look back um let whatever is dying out die out and fly away from your concern you need to kind of uh stay focused on whatever it is you need to do that's going to help you heal and show up as the best version of yourself and have hope on the horizon let let your light shine out like a beacon hope there's definitely something here about something that's coming to an end this month for you and i feel like whatever has been making you sad uh whether that's work love family wherever you live it's, it's a lot of things that could you know create like pessimism don't let it cloud your judgment don't let it weigh you down and feel like it's a lot of baggage or like you got a lot of weight on your shoulders no you need to relieve yourself i'm hearing relief here i'm here and get ready and prepare do some planning uh really focus on where and what it is you want to do and make a decision to just go for it and do it so i'm gonna go ahead and get some clarity for you capricorn on your king of cups for your overall month and the rest of your cards the five of cups the fool the three of wands and the ten of swords and ten of wands too but there's definitely something about you um really showing up as your best self this month and it really helping you to like overcome whatever it is that you've been kind of worried about so you have the king of wands yeah you need to take action show up as your most charismatic fun and gung-ho self don't let any arrogance or any egos from the outside external really come and mess up what it is you're wanting to do for yourself you have what it takes to show up as a leader and to really be assertive to take control of your life again and not let anything or anybody throw you off balance like i feel like as the king of wands you have the energy to really just kind of shine and take some kind of assertive measures where you are gonna take a stand for yourself and maybe some others too 
with love it's the the king i said the king the queen of cups for some of you it may be male or female doesn't matter um in tarot we have no gender there's something here about you kind of you know still getting over an unsettling emotional connection where uh, your emotions may have been all over the place, but it's still a message for you to honor your emotions, know that how you feel is valid, but if it's making you feel sad and like you can't be kind and nurturing to yourself or to those that matter the most, then it may be time to trust your gut and your intuition to let it go so that you're not coming off as emotionally unstable or unsettled or you know anything like that where you are just kind of irritated and not able to really just kind of rest and relax we have the ace of cups here for your job i feel like there will be some kind of new connection new happiness new bliss that you'll be experiencing if you allow yourself that really um Feel like there's a new opportunity for you to go towards something that really shows you that you're able to have fun with what you do again and be content with what it when you know satisfied with what it is and really have peace at what used to make you sad i feel like whatever you're gonna do with work will help you see that you know the world really is your oyster and you'll probably get in some kind of proposal where you may be moving around or just changing locations but it's going to be coming in quicker than you expect so be ready speaking of work yeah we have the ace of wands there's some kind of creative new endeavor that you will be partaking in here and it's going to uh, spark a new flame in your life and you're going to be ignited and have the energy to really go for what you would feel like would be fun and creative for you so that you um can really just not give a you know you know what about what was in the past and what didn't work and what made you feel like you were delayed from doing something that made you just feel like you were dealing with things that made you impatient and so for health you have the four of wands coming out it'll be a time for you to really start to focus on a happier more fun time i feel like once you kind of like get unpacked with baggage you'll be able to really enjoy yourself maybe go out on some kind of um i don't know i don't want to say date but i feel like there's something that you can get out and do where you can kind of celebrate the fact that you are healthy you're happy and you know um you can relieve yourself you can be carefree and focused on maybe getting out and um walking around in the city or just something about getting out in nature i think will help you getting dressed and dressing up getting some flowers going on a picnic really just kind of doing things that are kind of healthy for you and i feel like there'll be someone that helps you through that as well well that's a lover friend family co-worker there's somebody that is going to help you to kind of like have that uh i feel like this ace like i don't know like i just feel like all this fire energy is kind of related in some kind of way and the spiritual message is the will of karma surrender to fate surrender to you know your luck expanding and any kind of karma that you need that's going to play out there's nothing you can really do about it but surrender and you know focus on the positive and letting you know things just kind of fall as they may there is some kind of turning point that's going to occur i feel like where you turn back towards the light you come out of a sad situation whatever was bothering you i see you really um healing from that and really emerging on a new side of the spectrum or the story it's a new chapter a new era that's going to happen because you have two aces here so it's going to be some new beginnings for you this month and you're going to see and feel a new vibe, a new energy that's coming. The bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords is here. There's definitely some things that have been, you know, kind of giving you a headache. And you don't have to keep stressing about it anymore. It's time for you to definitely rejuvenate, get some R&R, &R, maybe go on a little, you know, vacation or something to really kind of um, reset and restore you know so i see that happening for you because i feel like you have been working yourself a lot 
and maybe it's time for you to kind of delegate some things to some other people to kind of help, you know, accept help. Don't be too stubborn to ask for help is what I'm just, I just heard for you. So I'm going to get some advice for you, Capricorn, for your August, and then we'll roll the dice. All right, so your advice is the Ace of Swords. There's something about you really letting the truth come out and having new ideas, having new perspectives, and really letting the truth, you know, set you free from whatever it is. There may be some new communication that's coming in, but you have three Aces, so there's definitely something about you really being open-minded and allowing, you know, the most high to really bring some bliss that you've been missing out on. And I feel like whatever it is you're going to be hearing about is going to help you, you know, and feel really good from the inside out with your inner child and just in general so that you're free from the past and you're able to move on. And really, uh, yeah, we have another ace. <laughs> have some kind of opportunity and blessing where you're gonna have some happy fun times and I feel like there's gonna be some friends or some really good vibes that are gonna come and help you uh, kind of balance out things and see things for what it is and have some awareness of where things are going I really feel like you um, should be looking out for clarity and to really you know start uh, putting your best self forward and being very self-assured and that you um can have better